Always growing up, I had that, that self-belief, that self-confidence. I always used to tell my mom I was going to be a professional soccer player. I was going to buy her a house in Spain. And you know, as I got older and, and always found myself as one of the, the better players on my team growing up, it kind of became more of a reality. I was, you know, born in Scotland, Aberdeen, so in the northeast, uh, freezing cold. And there wasn't much else to do other than play soccer. At 10 years old, we moved to the States, so I moved to Texas and couldn't play baseball, couldn't play basketball, couldn't play football. So, you know, I decided I was pretty good at soccer, and so far it's turned out to be a, a good decision. I don't think it really set in until, uh, you know, I was picked for the under-20 national team. That platform kind of, you know, got me seen in England and, and led me to my professional career. I'm so extremely happy for Stewart to finally uh, get into the English Premier League. I mean, that's a lifetime goal of his, and uh, it's only going to make him better, playing against the best players, the best competition. He's suited for the English game. He's got, he's got some craft, and he's got some guile, and he's got good feet, but he also likes to run, to jump, to get into tackles. If I have the ball, I wouldn't say I'm the, the best player one-on-one -on -one going at somebody, but I, I think I, I'm a good crosser of the ball, so you know, if I have the ball out wide, I think a defender has to get tight because uh, you know, I can put a dangerous cross in that, you know, that can cause problems. As a winger, particularly in England, they want you to cross the ball. When you get the opportunity to cross, cross it. Don't come back, don't pass it, just cross the ball. And he, he recognized that, he's got a nose for it. You know, he gets up and down, he works, and when he feels the opening come, he takes it. He can hit it with a bend, he can hit it hard, uh, he can loft it to the back post. He hits the right ball in the right situation. When the time is right for him to do what he does best, he does it. And he does it at an amazing, amazing level. You know, my first EPL game, I didn't even know I was going to be in the 18 for that game. You know, I'd played one game before that. The managers pulled me in and he said, you're going to start center midfield. And I was kind of like, ugh. You know, my, my stomach dropped and I had butterflies, but it was good butterflies. 40,000 fans screaming, cheering, you know, it was everything that I'd, I'd imagined it to be and um, an experience I'll, I'll never forget. He went to Bolton, he had a great couple of games and, and he's been playing well and then all of a sudden he, he got injured with, with uh, the U.S. playing against Holland. Any injury is a huge challenge, but particularly when you know, he's been waiting to go, waiting to go, waiting to go, he finally gets his chance and then bang a setback. He's not going to make a U-turn when the going gets tough. He's a guy that's going to plow through, and if he can be fit back to full strength, I think you'll see great things from him. It's nerve-wracking, you know, you're, you're thinking about playing well on the field, but you're also thinking about, am I doing enough? Am I doing the right things to where I'm going to get seen and get this opportunity? It really forces you to dig deep, and I think the biggest part of being a professional is, is pushing that aside and just doing what you do best, which is, which is play soccer.